But now I also think about what's going on in Calipari, what's going on in Big Blue Nation right now. Look, I, I, I'm going to look at this definitely as a coach. Freshman struggle understanding concepts defensively and the importance of defense. Antonio Reeves is the senior on that team. He's their leading scorer. He had 27 points tonight. The freshmen all struggled. But Antonio Reeves is also the best defensive player yes. on Kentucky's team. All year, John Calipari, you could argue, has done a great job getting these young freshmen as far as they have. The game is different now. Oakland is older, mature, well-coached, disciplined players. They're 23, 24 years old. He's playing with 18-year-olds. It shows in these type of environments. You're watching – we're watching Golke come off these screens. Robert Dillingham is five feet – from him trailing him. A good defensive player is on his outside shoulder, mm. forcing him inside the three-point line, not letting him catch. It's been a problem for Kentucky all year, being matched up against one of the best three-point shooters in the history of college basketball was not a good matchup. Look, all, all credit to Oakland, what Golke did. He's a part of NCAA tournament lore for sure. forever for what he did tonight. Defensively, this is who Kentucky has been all season long. They're 111th on Ken Palm in defensive efficiency. They're 105th in the country in three-point defense. It's not that you can't beat good teams this way just by being a good offensive team, but to be able to win and go deep and go to a Final Four, no, no national championship team has been remotely that bad on the defensive end. And then offensively, let's be honest, for these freshmen, especially Reed Shepard and DJ Wagner, the moment was too big for them. And we've seen this so often throughout the years in college basketball. These freshmen who come along over the course of the season have great games, mm. big moments. They get here where when you lose, your season is over. The two of them combined for three points, one for ten. Reed Shepard just shrank for the moment. He's, he's a phenomenal kid. He's carried this team all season long. The moment was too big for them, and they played a good team that took advantage. In their losses, Kentucky has averaged, allowed 88 points per game in those losses. John Calipari just spoke with the media. Here's what he had to say. Well, Coach, first of all, we appreciate you taking some time after a tough loss. What was the right message to the guys after that one? You know, what I hate is this team that really worked and did some good stuff. We didn't play great. They did. They made some unbelievable shots. We even went to a box and one. We follow him one time. He makes another one. But they shouldn't be in our team in the season defined by that game. But it will be. That's this is the profession we've chosen. And uh, but, you know, we had some guys that didn't play the way they'd been playing all year. Um, we did everything we could. We, we knew the zone would be tough, but we miss shots we don't miss. And, um, you know, the preparation, I thought they were in a great trying to keep them loose. But when the game started, they, you know, they just you had some guys not play to the level they could play. I know this is never about you, but for what you put into this, how long you've been doing it, how does a loss like this sit with you? I told him after, this one, this one is painful. And the reason is, there are other times you lose a game and you know your team is what it is and, you know, but this team I really felt was built for this moment. Um, even though we were young, I knew that could catch us. Um, but we had our chances, which is we threw the ball away. We did some, took a bad shot, you know, having, tra I mean, there were things that happened and then we give up a corner three the last play. But you got to give Oakland credit. They made unbelievable shots at the buzzer, at the, you know, they, they, they deserve to win the game. I hate to say we didn't, but we didn't. Coach again, your class act, we're stopping. Appreciate Thanks. you. Thank you. And we will spend time talking about Oakland, especially before their game on Saturday. But I think we need to put a button on this with Coach Cow. This is his 15th season as the Kentucky coach. He has taken them to four Final Fours. He has a championship in 2012. Mr. Jay Wright, Coach Jay Wright, this was in his hometown of yeah. Pittsburgh. And I know because I worked in Kentucky for a number of years, the expectations of Big Blue Nation are sky high. Yep. Two of the last three years, St. Peter's and now Oakland. How do we understand this and process this moving forward? Number one, personally for Cal, 
he he loves Pittsburgh. He takes pride in beating Pittsburgh guys. So being there in Pittsburgh just really hurts him personally. I understand. I feel for him. Number two, the era of taking these young freshmen and trying to play against older players is over. Like it, he did, a, I think he did a phenomenal job with these guys all year, getting them to be as successful as they were. You can see they're playing against grown men. The guys on Kentucky will be far better pros than any of these guys on Oakland or any of these guys in the tournament, but they're not as good college basketball players. It's a, At this point in their career, they're not as disciplined yet as the guys from Oakland. And it's not Cal's fault. Mm. It's they're 18 years old. And they're in this era where everyone's telling them how great they are. Just show up in college and you're going to win. It doesn't happen that way. And the more the guys stay in college because of NIL, it's going to be tougher for young teams like this to be successful. Golke, 24 years old, and he went out there and knocked down 10 threes in a performance that we will likely not forget for a very long time.